Uh, uh, let's solve another separable uh, ordinary differential equation. So, equation is e power 2y minus y times sine of x and y prime is equal to e power y sine of 2x. So, <coughs> hopefully this equation will be a separable equation so what uh, i can do is i can make it uh, separable so so in this case cosine x i take on the other side e power y i take on this side and then from y prime dy over dx i take dx on that side so this equation will become e power 2y minus y divided by e power y dy from here and then it will be sine 2x over cosine of x dx so now it seems that uh, this equation is uh, separable but we need to further simplify it to integrate it uh, so what we can do is we can divide uh, uh, term wise we can divide this uh, by e power y so it will become e power 2y over y it will become e power y minus y e power minus y dy and then we know that sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x so here we have cosine of x dx so cosine x cosine x cancels so now we can integrate okay so it will be an integrator e power y dy minus y e power minus y dy is equal to 2 sine x dx so here all the uh, uh, this integration this integral is straightforward it will be e power y for sine x we already know that the integral will be minus cosine x okay but for this we need to do the integration by parts so for the integration by parts we can use the di method okay it's easy so we can take y derivative 1 and 0 and then it will be e power minus y minus e power minus y integral integral and then e power minus y so plus minus plus okay so now we are ready to integrate so it will be e power y and the answer for this will be equal to y into so it will be minus um, y e power minus y <coughs> and then it will be minus e power minus y okay and then from here uh, 2 and then integral of sine x is minus cosine x so that minus i will put here and then it will be minus cosine x and then plus the integrat uh, integration constant okay so it will be e power y minus minus plus y e power minus y and minus minus plus it will be minus e power minus y is equal to minus 2 cosine x plus c so it appears that we cannot further <coughs> uh, simplify this equation in terms of y is equal to this function so i think uh, so, so we can that means we cannot get an explicit uh, solution of this uh, equation um, so in this case then um, we will just keep this solution so which will be the implicit uh, equation so uh, suppose that uh, the initial value uh, condition is given as like this so y 0 is equal to 0 so that means at x is equal at uh, x is equal to 0 the value of y is 0 also so with this we can find the value of uh, c so so for example y is 0 so it means e power 0 plus 
0 into e power 0 that term will be 0 and then plus e power minus 0 that term will be 1 it will be minus 2 cosine of 0 plus c so this term is 1 plus 0 plus 1 is minus 2 into 1 cosine of 0 is 1 plus c so from here we can find that value of c will be because it will be minus 2 it goes to over there so the value of c will be equal to 4 so the uh, solution of this equation will include value of c is equal to 4 so the solution will be then y is equal to particular solution will be equal to this okay minus 2 cosine x plus value of c will be equal to 4 so this will be the particular equation uh, solution okay let's let's solve this uh, equation mm. dy over dx is equal to xy plus 3x minus y minus 3 divided by xy minus 2x plus 4y minus 8. So at, uh, at the first glance this equation does not look to be a separable equation but uh, what we can do is we can factor factorize uh, upper and lower terms in this case so dy over dx so if i take these two first terms i can take x common so if i if i take x common it will be y plus 3 and then from the second two terms i can take minus 1 common it will be y plus 3 okay and now similarly from the in the denominator it will be y minus 2 by taking x common and then 4 common then it will be y minus 2 and now dy over dx uh, will be equal to y plus 3 into x minus 1 okay and then it similarly it will be factorized into y minus 2 over x plus 4 so now in this form we can make this equation this equation separable so dy will be equal to uh, take all the y terms there so it will be y minus 2 divided by y plus 3 and then here it will be x minus 1 over x plus 4 dx okay so now we have to integrate these two terms but uh, for the integration i think we need to further simplify it so how we can simplify it what we can do is uh, for this y minus 2 we can write it like this as well okay uh, will be y plus 3 okay because uh, in the denominator it is y plus 3 so in order to make it minus 2 so i have to subtract from minus 5 so in the end it is y minus 3 so it will be now y plus 3 dy and similarly for here i will write x plus 4 and then it should be minus 5 okay then it will be x minus 1 so it will be x plus 4 dx so now what i can do is i can divide y plus 3 with y plus 3 so it will be 1 and then it will be 5 over y plus 3 so now in this form it is now easy to integrate okay so it will be x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 it will be 1 and then it will be minus 5 over x plus 4 so now we know that the uh, if I take put the integral on both sides so it will be dy so dy the integral will be y and then it will be 5 over y plus 3 its integral will be 5 log of uh, y plus 3 okay and then it will be x and then it will be minus 5 log of 1 plus uh, x plus 4 and then uh, integration constant so i can further simplify it i can take this 5 log x plus 4 on that side so it will be 5 log x plus 4 
minus 5 log y plus 3 and then equal to uh, x here and I take y on that side in this side x minus y plus c okay so now I can represent these uh, two terms like this because I uh, for the log uh, I can take 5 inside of the log then it will become the power of this x plus 4 so it will be log x plus 4 uh, power 5 minus log y plus 3 power 5 is equal to x minus y plus c so now these two log terms can be combined in one under one log so it will be x plus 4 over y plus 3 power 5 is equal to x minus y plus c so now i can uh, remove this log term from here by taking the exponent so it will be x plus 4 over y plus 3 to the fifth power it will be equal to e power x minus y plus c and now i can represent it like e power x minus y into e power c so if c was some constant like c1 something like this okay uh, let's represent it as c1 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 so, so e power c1 will be another constant which we can represent by say c so c e power x minus y so the final answer is x plus 4 over y plus 3 power 5 is equal to c e power x minus y uh, so uh, not that this is uh, not a not an explicit solution in terms of y but it is a it is a rather an implicit solution